Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do our first colour and chat from April, really, our first one. Although, you did see one on the 1st of April, but it was one I coloured on the 31st of March. Anyway, so we're going to colour it in over Brown's Chibi Girls 2 Grayscale. Um, I haven't coloured in this one yet, so this one will go to Colour My Hold of March 2021. We're going to do this little cupcakey donut y girl. I think she's quite cute. So we'll do this one. Let's just get zoomed in. And I've got my colour charts here. We will be using the Oh Hoo Hoo's uh, markers. You just have to bear with me because there's so many of them, it takes me a while to find them. So here we go. So, first of all, I want to welcome everybody to the video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me. If you've subscribed, that's brilliant. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. And if you're a return visitor, thank you for coming back. It's always nice to see you here again. So, what's been going on? Not a lot. It's been Easter, obviously, which is always nice. And, um, yeah, that's about it, really. It's been Easter. You know what it's like. Been busy, been off for work for four days, which is nice. Um, been uh, going for a walk with Jennifer and hanging out with her, and, and you know, just having a nice time. Lots of chocolate Easter eggs. I've tried not to eat too many, but you know what? It is difficult. I didn't know it is difficult to not eat lots of chocolate over Easter. Been colouring a bit, had a few eBay sales, even though I still haven't put anything new up. It's something I will be doing in the near future. Still filming the weekly vlogs because people seem to like me waffling at a camera for around five to ten minutes every day. I'm not sure why, but they, <laughs> although there are other things that do come up if we go out somewhere. So, yeah, still working hard. Um, I mentioned this in the weekly vlog, but if you're one of the people who doesn't watch that, I'll mention it again here. We, uh, at work, we were, my team were, uh, we were given an award for February as um, Team of the Month. Got an email to say, go in here and collect your reward. And I'm thinking, yeah, great, a voucher for 10 or 20 quid, that's brilliant. I'm happy with that. Oh no, got in there, it's 100 quid. I'm like, what? A hundred quid. So my April colouring book haul might be a little bit bigger than anticipated. I am not, I'm going to say I'm not, actually going to do, to spend it all on colouring books. There are a few um, reading books I want, a few other things I want as well. But I was thinking, that's it. I'm not going to get any more books and uh, colouring books, but now I can. Yay, me! So I think we'll just pick some random colours and I'm not even looking to see what they are for these sprinkles on top of these donuts. See them here, all these, uh, yeah. And we're just going to do some random ones. I don't know whether it's going to be chocolate or, it might be chocolate, I might do a chocolate one. There we go, and there's some at the bottom as well, so we'll do those. But, yeah, I've just been thinking, I, I mean, I, there's, at the moment, the only book I can think of that I haven't ordered that I want, I mean, there's lots of books I want, that I can consider buying at this point is Luna, is Luna by Maria Trolley. I haven't got that quite yet. Um, I've got, I bought so many that I'm going to literally have to have a look to see what it is I want to get. Um, and I've got no idea at the, at the moment at all. no idea at all so it's quite I wasn't expecting it so I haven't been thinking oh I must get this book or I must get that book I've just been I've, I thought these are the ones I want 
so I'm going to order them, and I did. So now I've got to think of something else. I'm not complaining, it's nice to have a bit of extra budget for colouring books and supplies. I might buy some, I don't know, more, more jelly roll glaze pens or something. I don't really need any gels, I don't need any glitter gels. I've got plenty of markers at the moment, so... Um, yeah. I'll just put these back. 88 goes. Must go in this one here. Yeah. Right now, it's just seeing what we've got here. We've got a big, two big cupcakes with straw. What looks like strawberries or cherries on them. Cupcake cases, donut stars. Her a funny hair, which also looks like the topping of this cupcake. And in fact, I'm going to do her hair. It's not. But I think I'm going to give her a uh, pink hair. I'm going to go for number six, Vivid Pink, which is this one. So yeah, it's very exciting to suddenly find out you've got a £100 to spend. I did say I'd buy Paul a CD if there's something he wants. And I might buy Jennifer something as a treat. I probably will, but Jennifer gets treats all year round anyway. Because so. Paul doesn't get bonuses, so... I got a bonus in my pay and I've got this extra as well so it's like you just think what it's crazy I don't need any more markers or pencils at the moment I've got plenty of stuff there so I, 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 don't know, so I think I'll get a couple of colouring books Luna will be one and a couple of uh, some reading books like I said, maybe a jelly, jelly roll glaze. I've got a red and I've got the black one. I might get have a look at the other colours and see what there is. Get a couple of those, maybe. So, yeah. So as normal, I've been reading. Um, by the time you've seen this, you'll have seen I've put up my reading wrap up for. Uh, March which is a little bit late but not much not so much that it's a problem and um, I yeah I really enjoyed reading what I read um, in March so <clears throat> I'm just carried on with reading some more books in April I had almost completed my challenge I was having like 13 12 13 books off of it and it was the same amount as I had on last year's reading challenge and I was 23 I think books off finishing and this time I was 13 books off finishing and that's it in at the end of March so I've actually doubled my total from 75 to 150 because the rate I'm going, it's going to be done fairly easily. I've got a couple more books to add. It's because I read a lot on my phone now. I never used to. I'm reading a lot on my phone. Using the Kindle app on my phone. I'm also reading, you know, physical books as well. And there's a physical book out this month that I've pre-ordered. Which is the next Jodie Taylor Chronicles of St Mary's. Which is another time, another place. And uh, so that will be coming and I will read that straight away because then I will let, lend it to my mum because she's been reading those as well. I'm looking forward to that. I'll have a look see what other books that I want. There's probably a few actually. Um, some Hollywood ones maybe. I've got, I've got a huge list of books I want that I can get now. But I won't get a huge lot. I will just get a couple. But I'll have a look at my, my want list, my wish list and the stuff that sits in my cart and maybe get some of that. I'm going to do all this the same colour because it's coming out of the hair. But yeah, it's, it's quite... Um, Strange to think, oh my god, here we go, I can get a load more colouring books. What shall I get? Do you know what I mean? 
other than Luna, which I know I want, so. Yeah, I'll have to have a look and see what there is I want. But I'm in no rush to, to spend it. So. Any suggestions on what you think I should buy? Let me know down below. Of course, I may just um, I may buy another Carla Magana but now I'm kind of into those at the moment and they are so simple pictures that I could possibly crack on with. It wouldn't take too long. I'm not one for colouring and then colouring over the top of the pencil. Occasionally I do if the, um, for instance, if I'm doing skin and it looks a bit uneven, I will get a, a similar skin tone out in a pencil and go over it so it evens it out a little bit, makes it look a little bit nicer. But yeah, I mean generally I don't go... too much over it because I think sometimes I think that when I've done it once I don't really want to do it again <clears throat> excuse me just singing a little bit of a song there so Jennifer's fine she's a bit playing up a bit today but that's okay She's a kid, she's gonna, they do, don't they, you know? She didn't have her listening ears on at nursery either. She was being naughty and not listening to what she was asked or told to do. Yeah, so, and she's been like it all day, to be fair. So. But then she is only three and a bit, they do that. If they, she gets her funny head on. And that's it, she's gone. I don't know how long this one will take. We're on, what, 10 minutes or so? I don't know. We'll just keep colouring. So from the 12th, we can now can travel in and out of Wales. Um, travel is permitted between England and Wales, which is great. Um, whether or not we're to go anywhere is another matter, but hey. So that's next week. I'm really not one for bothering because I'm quite happy. It's like my mum said, you're quite a solitary person anyway. Um, it doesn't bother me not having been able to go out clubbing. I used to when I was younger. Um, but I worked in so many pubs over the years that seeing drunk people, it got to the point where you think, oh really? I've had enough of drunk people. So going out is not enjoyable so much because of the drunks. That's <laughs> just the way it is. When you've worked in pubs as long as I have, you do get to that point and you do start thinking hang on a minute this is silly I'm thinking that's going to be a part of it as well it's like her hair becomes part of the cake um but It's not completely clear what's what on this book, to be honest. So I'm just going to colour it as a hair and hope for the best. But then it's my picture, so there's nothing wrong with it. And same with this great big one over here. There's, it doesn't look like hair because there's no lines on it, but it needs to be if this bit is. Uh, is now. Yeah. Yeah, so this whole st being stuck at home, I'm quite happy with. I do like going out. I like going and visiting places because I like history and I like looking at castles and the seaside and places like that. But generally, hanging out with people I can live without. I have a few select people that I like to hang out with. Don't get me wrong, there are people I do like to be with. Um, I do have a select, um, a certain amount of friends that I will happily spend a lot of time with if I can. And I haven't for, for a few years because they live in... <coughs> different parts of the country so I've got friends who who live in America 
and other parts of the UK and I see them when I see them but we, we stay in touch we watch on Facebook talk on Facebook some of them watch this vlog uh, or the weekly vlog I know my brother and his wife Claire they, they watch some of these videos for some reason I think they just like to see what's going on so yeah that's that bit right we need a sort of brownie colour for the bottoms of those sort of donutty critters. I think I'll go with mm. 145. It says it's buttercup yellow, but it doesn't look very yellow to me. 145. There it is. I, I think the swatch card's quite right somehow. You can see it's a, a brown, it's not exactly yellow. So I use it just to find a colour. I don't use it for the name. I tend to go by the number rather than anything else. Yeah, the pubs aren't opening for a long time yet. They, I mean, they're opening next week, I think, in England. But they're being a little bit more cautious over here because they are not ruling out another lockdown if uh, it's another wave. Um, so we just have to wait and see. Well, hopefully, if there is another one, it won't be too bad. I, I sit there thinking about what colour to use. I <laughs> do must do please do ignore me and I do apologise. Sometimes it takes me a while to locate the colour I want. Uh, there it is. Ow. So I'm just going to do. Hmm. No, they're pretty covered, aren't they? I don't think I will. Okay, in that case, I want. What number is that? Is that 44? Oh, yeah. So we use 44. Oh, I'm just. Bleh. Yeah. Saying that, it will be nice to go to the shops again when uh, we're allowed and when we can get out and visit people. I'm looking forward to the auction starting up again because I do like to buy stock from the auctions if I can. I've done quite well on stuff. I've got. I've still got cameras actually to to list. I like to test everything before I list it, so after I'm missing a battery, I need a battery for um, a particular thing, so I will have to go and uh, uh, get some batteries. Um, that was 44, so that was in that one. I want a very pale pink or blue. I'm actually quite enjoying doing this at the moment. I've just got a have a fiddle. Sorry, I've got that's it. Um, I'm really not with it. I don't know what I'm doing actually. You know when you you start? I'm going to do these cupcake cases, and I'm going to do them in different colours. So I'll do a pink one, a, a pale blue one, and a pale green one, maybe. Because you can get them in different colours, can't you? So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the auctions again. 
and I don't go to the auctions I just watch them online I like watching them online basically you can't see anything you just listen to it you hear it and you see the items and I set myself a budget I, I look at the when they do the ones at Cardiff they put them up on a the lots up for Saturday and Sunday because they have two and they put it up on a, a Friday night so that hopefully next week I think as non-essential can open on the 12th they should I'm pretty sure they'll be open the following weekend and we'll be able to do it so they'll go up on the Friday and what I do is I have a look see if there's anything I'm interested in and then if there is I'll sit through the auction and I'll set myself limits I'll make a number note of the lot numbers for each one and what I would be willing to pay what I think I can make a profit on it at um, I'm, I'm pretty good at sticking to it I mean the first time I bought loads of cameras I got them so cheap and there was nothing wrong with most of them there's been a few I've chucked but I've, I've actually sold some of them without any issues at all so I'm really happy with that and, and I got them for exactly what I expected to pay since then ca uh, cameras have gone through the roof I'm not sure why I think it's probably because a lot of them came out during uh, in between the lockdowns and people were just desperate for stuff to sell once we get out of it it'll settle back down into some sort of normality when people have got um, their uh, correct amount of items again when they've got items enough items to to sell then it'll go back to the lower prices because prices went high after the first lockdown we use this one on this one so I am hoping that they will come back down at some point probably will Still got tons of stuff I could sell if I wanted to. It's just getting around to listing it. Do you know what I mean? I've been I've been so lazy. It's unreal. I've really got to get back to it. Now this is probably I'm probably going to do a 40 minute video and then call it quits, and then we'll finish it off in the next one. Still quite a fair bit to do on this. Mind you, we're not at 30 minutes yet, so that's cool. We'll see how far we get. I do like these markers. These hoo hoo markers are really nice. I'd buy these again. Without a doubt, I would buy these again. I think they look so nice. So oh yeah, I didn't do a first impressions on these because I couldn't wait to get started with them, but I will recommend them. Um, they go on a lot cleaner, a lot smoother, less patchy than some of the other ones. So I really, really like them. I really like them, I'm not going to lie. I was going to do a green one. I said I need a, a nice green one, 59 for green. I can find it. This is the only problem. 50, 56, 62, 58, 57. Where's 59? There he is. Good. Dearly old me. 
work. So we're just doing these cupcake cases. They're very nice to use. I must admit, I love the smell of alcohol markers. Really love the smell of them, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Yummy, yummy. These ones don't smell as strong as some of the others though. I don't find anyway. Do get stiff sitting here doing this. I'm actually so I'm doing this upstairs at the moment because the um, camera was upstairs for my because I was doing my completed pages and stuff and I hadn't taken it back down. Um, that's why I'm doing it down here, up here rather than in the living room. Obviously, I will be filming downstairs because I'm doing my first impressions down there. I've got to try and finish one of them so I can get it up for you. I might try and do a bit of that tomorrow if I've got I've got a chance. What's that mean to I think there's football on tomorrow, so if there's football on tomorrow, I'll be definitely filming something uh, downstairs. Uh, probably uh, one of the first impressions. Mozart's I'm still working on. Um, it hasn't got long to go, to be honest, so a little bit more filming. And then I've just got to finish the picture. I can get that one up, and then I can get on with the Brute Funa and the... Arteza watercolour pencils, which I still haven't done, and that's been for ages. I'm still debating on how to do it. Um, I haven't used them. I'm dying to. I want to use them. But I'm thinking it's going to take so long, because they're, they're like 120 pencils, to swatch and watercolour them all. You use the water on them all as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is doing the first layer, or the first page in the book, showing you the pencils and how they lay down, and then putting the water over the top turning the camera off and then going to colour the rest of it in and then do the water, you know, activate it on, on camera. I haven't quite decided yet. Right, what's next? 23, which is an orange. So, I'll we'll do this one here that she's sitting on orange and there are little chunks in there but I'm going to do them in a darker orange um you see her dress looks like it's part of the cupcake because it's got these little balls in it as well but her dress will be a different color so I'm keeping an eye on it because we're nearly at 30 minutes and you know the camera it does turn off at 30 minutes but then what I can do is I'll I'll just switch it back on and just uh, stitch it together in my editing software <laughs> That's one good thing about using a DSLR rather than a, a phone is I can I can put it in the editing software and it it is fine. It'd be nice to do this over two parts actually because it's quite a I mean this is one of the least detailed pictures, but it's still quite detailed and I do like it. I think it's really pretty. It's a lovely book. So I've got quite a lot of Ava Brown books now because I get in them through the launch team. I've got another one which is the uh, Sweet Treats. I haven't started it yet because I'm still trying to finish one off from another book. Um, but I plan on covering I don't even know if that's one's released yet. I don't think it has been. I looked the other day and couldn't see it. I will check again in a bit to see if it's been uh, put up yet. But, uh, oh, and my battery's nearly gone as well. So when we run out of 30 minutes, which will be any second, I'll see if I can find a battery that's got some power in it because I can't remember which ones are charged and which ones aren't because I'm pretty useless at that. Now, I'll make sure I charge them all up tomorrow. There we go. I like this orange. The oranges in this set are absolutely stunning. Okay, right. Right, there we go, 30 minutes, 
Let's turn that off. All right, I've changed the battery. I don't know how long it's going to last because it needs charging as well. I've got one more after this. Um, I'll charge them all up tomorrow, so I've got plenty of battery charging for charged up for filming over the next few days. I just got to find a cable because one of the cables gone missing, so I keep nicking the one off my computer, which is the same one. Um, but I have got a spare. It's just plugged into the old printer, which is needs to go out to go. We got this guy coming next week to take some of the rubbish away and the old printer doesn't work at all and I love my HP one even if I've had to up my subscription to 300 pages a month I was on 100 but they kept sending me these flipping colouring books so it's way over 100 I think 300 would be more than enough for the Ava Brown colouring books and any odd pages I want to colour um, print off and colour because sometimes I print stuff for Jen and for anything else that I might need to print off or other things. Now this is a dark, different orange, but it's a slightly brighter one. So, like I said, I'm going to do about another ten minutes, and that'll be it, really. Um, <sighs> yes, forty-five. Should we? Yeah. We'll do the. We'll do these. Yeah, this battery is already flashing that it's out. So I'll see if the other one works. If not, I'll call it a night. Yeah, it is. Uh, try it's again. This one actually looks like it's a full, fully charged one. So that's good. So we should be able to finish this off. I'm just going to do these with a little bit of yellow. I've still got my video playing. I do apologise. Uh, what I've been changing batteries and and doing other bits. Um, I'm watching, I've been watching Finders Beepers, um, I forgot to turn it off, I don't normally turn it off when I'm colouring, unless I, yeah, I sort of have to sit here and watch it and colour, but when I'm colouring to, on a video, I'll try and have it off. So I'm hopeful now I will get this done and I can film a couple of flip throughs as well. Yay, that'll be good. We've still got a fair bit to do because we've still got this bun, this bun, her eyes, her dress, and shoes, the stars, and the background. So there's still plenty to do in another video. So. So I'm not going to do much more than around 10 minutes more and uh, I might do her eyes next. So what colour to do them. I do like the paper I've got. I've actually got Xerox 160 <coughs> GSM paper and it's fairly nice. I was using 200 and it's so thick. I thought, nah, this is ridiculous. It's gonna, my folder's going to fill up so quickly with this thickness of paper, I thought I'll just change it and get because the first lot I had was 160 and it's fine, it's really good for markers and yeah, so I've got that now and I'm going to put that on um, a monthly subscription or bi-monthly subscription, probably monthly until I've got plenty of it and then I can cancel it. Usually if you get a subscription, I'm oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm really doing, can you? On uh, Amazon, you get it slightly cheaper. It might be a couple of quid or a quid, but it's not a lot, but. What eye color should we have? Oh, let's have dark violet, 75. It's not that dark, to be honest. I just thought, man, that's quite nice. 76, 73. 75. Mm -hmm. So, some Elizabeth Taylor eyes, I think. There you go.
I might do 167 with 165. 167, 165. <clears throat> <laughs> I've enjoyed doing this actually. It's been nice to just chill out and have a quick chat with you and do a bit of colouring and I do miss it when I don't get the chance and sometimes it's very hard to film when I'm I, obviously I work and I've got Jennifer and a house and a never ending basket of laundry to do. I swear it's never ending. It's constantly, f well, if I empty it the next day I've got another load. It is ridiculous the amount of washing we go through. I mean there's only three of us. How my mum managed when she, I mean, okay, she didn't work, but there were six of us in our household when I was growing up. There was obviously my mum and dad, my brothers and me and my granddad, and she did washing for all of us. And I'm like, how the hell did she, on her own, manage to do it all? Seriously, how did she do it? She did. She did it and had two dogs. A rabbit, goldfish and a mouse at one point. I don't know how she did it, but she did. I mean, yes, okay, she didn't work in a job like I do, but I only work half a day and I still struggle to keep up with the washing and putting it all away. I don't even iron anything. So, look. I do love to do the colouring with yours. really do this is so nice just to sit here and chill out with a, a coloring book and some markers and have a chat and a catch up and I hope you all had a good Easter um, and you did whatever you needed to do whether you were with your family or not depending on where you live in the world due to the situation that's ongoing never seems to be ending Never ever. I think I'll use an 83 as well in this one. Where's 83? There it is. Um, yeah, it, it seems to be never ending, I know, but we will get there. It will change at some point. But So if you've been with your family, I'm so pleased for you. If you haven't, hold on. It won't be much longer, hopefully. And we'll all be able to see our friends and family again. And if you are in one of those places where there are no restrictions, I'm, I am pleased for you. I think it's wonderful. And as long as everybody's staying safe and sensible and you're taking care of each other, that's all that matters. Um, because it is, it is once in a generation, once in a hundred years, actually, it's once in four generations. There's a generation, it's class of 25 years. So it's once in a four generation event. So the last big pandemic was really the 1980 flu epidemic or pandemic. And uh, fair play, they they got through that. We'll get through this. This is our our one. And in a hundred years' time, when we're all gone, there'll be another one. You know, some of our children may be alive. Jennifer possibly could be. She'd be a hundred and three. It's possible. Um. But who knows? Who actually knows what's going to happen next? It's all <clears throat> a bit scary. It's going to be a lot, take a long time for everything to recover, not just the um, hospitals and missions and the NHS, but the economies. It's going to take a long time for all the economies to recover wherever you are in the world. It, it just is. I'll just finish your shoes and I think that will be enough. I think there are shoes anyway. That'll be enough for tonight. There we go.
there we are well, that'll do for tonight we'll, we'll finish this in the next video which will be what day are we on tuesday i'll try and do it thursday or friday probably friday for saturday but it might be thursday for friday um so we've done all this so far we've done a good chunk of it so we've just got uh the two tops of the cakes and their decorations there's a little bit of cake under here that i've got to do and the stars and the background so we'll finish that off in the next video so i do hope you've enjoyed this quick color and chat if you have give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and i will see you in the next video so take care everybody stay safe and happy coloring bye